I'm Rachel Hernandez, real estate investor turned mobile home investor and best-selling author. I make a living investing in mobile homes for cash flow for long-term passive income. After many mistakes and lessons learned, I've been able to create the kind of life where I can do the types of things I want to do, not have to do. I created the Adventures in Mobile Homes podcast to share with you what I've learned so you can spend more time with family, friends, and do things you love. Mobile home investing can help you get there. If you want to hear real stories with practical and actionable advice you can use from someone who's been in the trenches and who's still investing today to create the type of life you love, then you're in the right place. Let's get started. Well, hey there, and welcome back to another episode of the Adventures of Mobile Homes podcast. I'm your host, Rachel Hernandez, aka Mobile Home Girl of AdventuresofMobileHomes.com. Thank you so much for joining me here on the 71st episode of the podcast. Now, just in case you missed it, be sure to check out the last episode where I talk about the latest behind the scenes of my own mobile home investing business, including some of the other projects that I'm working on. You can check it out at www.adventuresonmobilehomes.com slash 70. So today, I want to welcome you all back. And as of this recording, it's the end of summer and fall is just around the corner, which, by the way, is my favorite time of the year. Now, as for me, I've had a pretty eventful and busy summer. And if you caught the last episode back in May of this year, I talked briefly about my summer plans and everything that I've been working on up to that point. So definitely check out that episode if you haven't had a chance. Now that I'm back, I've got to tell you, I really enjoy taking the summer off from the podcast to relax and recharge. It's been so awesome. And a good podcaster friend of mine has been telling me for years to do the same. And now I'm glad I did. So moving forward, I'm going to continue the podcast in the fall and the spring, but take a break in the summer. It just feels really good to have that break to relax and recharge, but also take some time to reflect and plan ahead. So I'm really excited to start this new season off of the podcast. I've got a lot planned for the podcast, and I'm doing some different things for it this year. And if you continue to be in community with me over the summer through the membership program and the support page, or even engaging with me through social media or messaging me via email, I just want to say thanks. Thanks for continuing to consume my content, engage with me, and just listen to what I have to say about all things mobile home investing and how you too can be a successful mobile home investor. Now, with that being said, I'm going to get into it here to talk more about my future plans and the rest of what I've got in store for Adventures of Mobile Homes. But before we move on, let's hear a word from our sponsor. Hey there, Rachel here. Have you enjoyed the show and podcast so far? Has it helped you with your own mobile home investing journey? And have you received value from it? If yes, then consider supporting the show. So, how can you show your support? Well, there's a couple of things that you can do. The first thing you can do is leave a review on Apple Podcasts, Podchaser, or anywhere else the podcast can be heard. Go to www.adventuresinmobilehomes.com slash podcast to see the sites and links where you can leave a review on. I'll be ever so grateful if you do. And you may even get a shout out and your review read right on the show just for doing it. Another thing you can do is support the show and buy me a coffee. If you know me, you know how much I love coffee. If you've gotten a lot of good information out of the podcast and it has helped you as a mobile home investor, I'd love your support. 
Now, in the future, I'll be giving shout outs to those who support me. So if you do, that may be you. Go to www.adventuresinmobilehomes.com slash support for more information on how you can show your support. Again, www.adventuresofmobilehomes.com slash support. And if you want to take it a step further and receive exclusive only content, consider being a member. On the support page there, you'll find info about how you can view exclusive content, including access to new videos and blog posts, a shout out in a future episode for your support, access to video replays on my past speaking engagements, if you haven't seen me speak yet, and more. Check out www.adventuresofmobilehomes.com slash support to find out more. Thanks so much for continuing to listen to the podcast and for your support. Now, back to the show. All right, first things first. If you caught the title of this podcast episode, you're probably wondering why I decided to name it that way. Am I going to talk about the basics of mobile home investing today? Well, I can't really cover the topic in an entire podcast episode. That would probably take several podcast episodes to go over it. But if you're wondering the reason why I named this particular podcast episode Back to Basics Mobile Home Investing, it's that I want this to be the overall theme for the podcast this season. So you've all heard the phrase, back to school, right? You know, coming back to school in the fall and all. Well, it's a pretty similar concept, except we're going to get back to basics, back to the basics of mobile home investing for this year and the theme of this podcast for this season. So that'll cover a lot of topics within mobile home investing that takes me back to exactly how I got started as a mobile home investor. Way back when I started my blog, Adventures in Mobile Homes, in 2007. And now it's a podcast, and here we are. And if you've been following me since then, and you're a longtime reader of the blog, and now listener of the podcast, thank you for your support and continuing to listen to what I have to say. And for everyone else, no matter what part of your mobile home investing journey you're at, whether you're a beginner, intermediate, or experienced investor, thanks for staying here and following along. I appreciate you all. Now, with that being said, I'm going to really get down to the foundation of things for this season regarding mobile home investing. I'm going to simplify to the simplest point how I do what I do to make it as simple as possible for you in order to become a successful mobile home investor. Like I tell a lot of my students who hire me for consultations, it's not that complicated. Honestly, I've been a real estate investor in forever and a day, and not much has changed in terms of the process. Not much has changed in terms of trying to find and locate motivated sellers and put deals together. Not much has changed in terms of fixing up these homes, whether you decide to buy and hold or buy and flip. Not much has changed with the closing process on the buyer end. Though, what has changed are the tools we have at our disposal to do these things. Technology has changed. The way people find information, since they can do it all online, has changed. And we can choose to use these tools, which I do occasionally, or we can do things the old-fashioned way. Now, if you know me, you know... I'm not much of a technology person. The main way I handle my business is the old-fashioned way, by being out in the field and networking and talking to people. That's just the way I am. And you get an advantage just by being a local investor. You know things that other people don't just by talking to people. Stories get told, things come out, all because you are right there in front of them not on a computer screen. And I will say, 
A lot of this has to do with luck, being at the right place at the right time. But you must know how to act and take advantage of opportunities that come your way. And that requires skill, hard work, and due diligence, which is why my students hire me to do consultations and guide them along the way. But in terms of technology, I do use it just for basic things like email and market research at times. They are there, and I may do an episode on the technology tools that are here at our disposal as mobile home investors down the road. So stay tuned. But getting to the heart of it, I still do things the old-fashioned way. I still network. I still talk to people. I'm out in the field all day long. And just in case you missed it, be sure to check out episode 11 of the podcast where I go over how to build your mobile home investing team if you need help in this area. Now, moving on, so a lot of my work involves networking and being out in the field. So yes, driving for dollars is a big part of what I do to find motivated sellers as a mobile home investor, which I covered in episode 53 of the podcast. So that is the overall theme of the season for the podcast, getting back to basics when it comes to mobile home investing. And a lot of the subjects I'm going to tackle We'll cover that in specific areas within mobile home investing to share with you what it takes to become a successful mobile home investor. So stay tuned. Other than that, I'm going to be doing some more interviews this season like I did last season. At the time of this recording, I've already started to interview some people for the show and I'll do them from time to time just to mix things up and give you different perspectives. I've enjoyed doing the interview so far so watch out for that. Also, I'm going to be doing another market update very soon on what I'm seeing in the manufactured home industry right now. My last market update was in May with my insight on the market and video commentary. And I'm planning to do these market updates once a quarter to keep you all updated on things as I see them. So if you're interested in checking it out, I'll put a link to it here right in the show notes. Now, as for my own mobile home investing business, I'm doing a lot of talking to my network and getting referrals of motivated sellers. Most days I'm out in the field doing things the old fashioned way. And right now I've been doing more wholesaling mobile homes than anything else, which is getting me back to the old days on how I started out as a bird dog, then wholesaler in single family homes. So it's been pretty fun, and I'm enjoying my time out in the field, which is my favorite part of this business. And just in case you missed it, I did do a few podcast episodes on the subject of wholesaling, which are covered in episode 23, How to Wholesale Mobile Homes, and episode 66, Wholesaling versus Bird Dogging Mobile Homes of the podcast, which I'll link up here right in the show notes. And for those who are interested, I'm still working on a wholesaling class for mobile home investors in the future. So stay tuned for that. And speaking of wholesaling, I did talk more about what I've been doing on that end in my latest podcast interview on the Money Mindset podcast with my friend Ashley Patrick, where I go over my journey as a debt-free real estate investor turned mobile home investor. So if you'd like to check out that interview, I'll also link it up here right in the show notes. But I did want to let you all know, since I get asked a lot, I'm working on a new one-on-one coaching program just for mobile home investors, because I get asked a lot from people if I have any one-on-one coaching programs, which are more long-term to help people along their mobile home investing journey. So I've actually been putting one together and it'll be out soon. It'll include a lot of things to help you succeed as a mobile home investor, no matter what part of the journey you're at and what level you're at, whether you're new or experienced. Now, I'm almost done with the last piece of it, which is a quick start workbook, which you can do as we progress together with a coaching program. 
And if you're a member of my support page and you're interested, you'll get a special extra discount for the coaching program just for being a valued member. So stay tuned. And speaking of members, I want to take some time right now to give a few shout outs. So here goes. Special thanks to Dr. Summers, who recently became a member. Now, Dr. Summers writes, Thanks for all your info. I'm just getting started, and I found a great deal my first week. Great to hear, Dr. Summers. Congrats on your deal. I'm so happy for you. Feel free to share anything about the deal in the Discord community, which is part of your membership. I'd love to hear more about it. Thanks so much for becoming a member, and welcome. Special thanks to someone who just became a member. Someone writes, Great content. Thanks, Rachel. Happy to have you here, someone. Thanks for becoming a member, and welcome. Special thanks to Brian, who just became a member. Happy to have you here. Special thanks to Ryan, who recently became a member. Now, Ryan writes, Big fan of your channel. Looking forward to learning. Thanks for the kind words, Ryan. So happy you're a member, and welcome. And Ryan also purchased the Getting Started in Mobile Home Investing class. Hope you get a lot out of the class, Ryan. And if you're interested in learning more about this class, be sure to check out episode 43 of the podcast, How to Get Started in Mobile Home Investing, where I go over the class in more detail. And at the time of this recording, Ryan is also one of my consulting students. Here's what Ryan has to say about his experience. Excellent call learning about wholesaling. Rachel answered every question with patience, and she even gave me a list of things to do as a beginner. Great to hear, Ryan. So happy our call went great on your end. I enjoyed talking with you and hearing about your plans for your mobile home investing journey. Looking forward to hearing about your progress. And if you're interested in learning more about getting a consultation and being a student like Ryan did, I'll put a link here for more information right in the show notes. And again, if you're a member of the support page, you'll get a special extra discount. Lastly, special thanks to Press P, who just became a member. Thanks for becoming a member, Press P. Looking forward to getting to know you and hearing about your own mobile home investing journey and welcome. And speaking of the support page, the extra discounts are just one of the perks of becoming a member, as well as getting access to the Discord community, which I mentioned already. And here you can network, ask questions, and share your deals, or get feedback on them. Also, you can contact me there with any questions or if you need any feedback on a deal. Plus, I share market updates and industry news and articles, which I don't share anywhere else. And also as a member, you'll get exclusive access to regular training classes on different topics around mobile home investing and access to detailed posts where I go into more detail about specific topics within mobile home investing that you won't find anywhere else. I'm telling you, This is exclusive content and behind-the-scenes footage on my own mobile home investing business, including more details on what I mentioned here today, my current mobile home deals, and other projects that I'm working on. So if you want to know more in detail about what I talked about today, be sure to check out the support page. Plus, you also get discounts to special events, and here's the kicker. Discounts to my existing courses and classes, including a special extra discount to my Dodd-Frank and SafeAct course, especially for mobile home investors, just for members of my support page. So you definitely don't want to miss out on the special deal. Sign up as a member today. Go to www.adventuresofmobilehomes.com slash support for more information on how you can support me and become a member, including all the perks you'll get that I just mentioned. Again, www.adventuresonmobilehomes.com slash support. And just in case you missed it, I did do a video walkthrough of the support page and what it's all about. You can find it on episode 52 of the podcast where I celebrate the two-year anniversary of the show, what it means, and my plans going forward. You can find it at www.adventuresonmobilehomes.com slash 52. Again, www. 
dot adventures of mobile homes dot com slash 52. Well, that's about it for now. As you can see, I've got a lot in store for the future in terms of the podcast and also the support page where I spend most of my time on there regularly creating content and answering questions just for members. And I'll be including all the links to the resources mentioned here right in the show notes. Go to www.adventuresofmobilehomes.com slash 71 for more information. Well, that's about it for now. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. And if you're a member of the support page, I'll catch you in the Discord community. It's been great getting to know everyone there and helping you with your questions and any feedback that you may need on your deals. Again, the Discord community is a place for members of the support page to network, get feedback on their deals, and ask any questions they may have. Just a good community all around. And lastly, if you've enjoyed the podcast so far, please be sure to share it with family and friends. And be sure to follow me and subscribe. That's about it for now. Until next time, this is Rachel Hernandez, aka Mobile Home Girl of the Adventures of Mobile Homes podcast, signing off. I'm ready for fall and to start up the podcast again. Thanks for tuning in.